garlic, a little bit of salt on the chili peppers. I like to use a combination of fresh and dry, but you guys can use whatever you would like. And I also like it really spicy, so just make it to taste. So get that really finely crushed. Once you have it finely crushed, we're gonna add the tomatoes, and I am very particular about the tomatoes that go in my thumb. I prefer these cherry tomatoes. They're like these round, juicy tomatoes. They make this really saucy, so that's why they're good. Slice them in half. Careful when you're doing this. Do it on a cutting board. And there you go. You can see there that they are quite juicy. So add the rest of them. Gently crush them. Don't pound on this too hard because you have those chilies in there and you don't want that splashing up at your eyes. So now we're gonna add the sugar. Then you're gonna add shrimp paste. And then your crab paste. The crab paste gives it that black color. I really like that. I also like the flavor of it as well. Get that all mixed in. Now I'm gonna add some tamarind concentrate, and you guys don't need to add this if you don't want to. I've been into it lately, so just gonna add some in. Next goes in the badak, and this is fermented fish sauce. I like the Pan Thai brand. You guys are always asking what I use. This is what I like. And then fish sauce. I was introduced to this by another Instagrammer. Her name is Ava Brune. She's awesome. She is like my thumb making soul sister. Love this golden boy brand. It's not too salty. It's not too fishy. It's got the perfect balance and I really, really like it. So now I just get that all mixed in and then you just want to give it a taste. I think it's perfect. So now you can add your lime. So I'm going to start with half. Get that mixed in. Now we can start our thumper. Once the water comes to a boil, we're going to go ahead and cook the pho noodles. I like to cook my noodles first because you don't want them too hot when you go to mix everything together. I'm gonna add it to a large bowl. Now we're gonna cook the Chinese broccoli. I do this for like 30 seconds or so because I like my vegetables to still have some bite to it. Now we're gonna add the meatballs. And last go in the shrimp. And with the meatballs, you guys can cut these in half or you can cut them into thirds or you can leave them whole. I also like to make this with fish balls, cuttlefish balls, tofu balls, or even like slices of squid or octopus is really good in here as well. Okay, so once the shrimp is done, just go ahead and add that in. Now for the fun part, which is getting it all mixed in. So you wanna take your sauce, scrape down the sides, and just pour it in there. You can use the chopsticks to mix this all up, but I like to use my food prep gloves, so mix it all in. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could smell this. It's like making my mouth water. 